So yesterday we saw only this area, but in the morning, after I've done this trick, I see all this part of the map. And it's being done automatically without me doing anything, and this is fantastic. Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Today we'll be talking about Warpath and specifically about scouting. I've got one guide about scouting before, the link will be in the description and in the uh, cards over there, but honestly it's a little bit outdated, I found a better way how you can scan the area and get everything you want. And yes, we need Ushanka for this, so let's put it back on. So guys, after I've released the last guide, I saw that there is a quest out here in the urban combat plan, somewhere on the right, it's called uh, military maps. Search all areas of folk within the city, that will allow you to get 500 gold, one coupon and 630 minute gold rushes. Moreover, opening the map gives you a lot of those uh, gold things, so you can get the plunder like that, get the free gold, and that will boost your progress significantly early on. So I found out the better way how you can scout the map. Uh, let me show you. This is my new account for the purpose of jumper guide. And um, yeah, we started over here yesterday, and in the morning we already have all this area scouted without me doing anything. If you're wondering how to do that, keep watching, I'll explain everything. So yes guys, this trick will save you so much time on that manual fly scout over here, yes, okay. This is so annoying, this was actually one of the main problems for me with the game, because it takes so much time to scout it, and you gotta be online and do all that, at, like, this is basically a grind. So I was thinking, I have a blue stacks. if you don't know what blue stacks is, I'll drop a link in the video description down there, that's an emulator of Android for the PC, and you can macro stuff out over there. So I did a macro, and I will show you how to do this, that will automatically send your planes for scouting, it's pretty simple actually, and it's extremely effective. So what do we get out of this? If we click on the resources, no. If we click on the search, we can see that we got bunch, bunch of free stuff. Oh my god, I will need another macro just to gather all of those things. So the first things first, you gotta download the blue stacks and that will allow you to play the full screen. Moreover, it will uh, allow you to do a lot of other different things. The link to that video will be in the video description as well. There we have the full guide how to do this. So you basically go over the link in the description, download the software, install it. Uh, log in with your Google account or another Google account, it's up to you if you want to use your own or not. Then download the game, synchronize it with your phone uh, or tablet, uh, using the Facebook preferably, I use that. And then you will open your account on PC like I do, and then you can do everything that I do over here in this video. So in order for you guys to see how it's working, I will open up the whole interface over here so you can see the BlueStacks. Over here in BlueStacks 5 you have Open Macro Manager option and I already got scouted all macro. We will create one with you together so you will know exactly how it works and that's actually pretty straightforward. So what you're gonna do, you gotta press Record New Macro. After that you click on your scouting plane over here. You click Scout, wait for a few seconds so the camera will be here and everything will be in place. Press search and you're set to go. You stop it and then you rename it as scout at all or whatever you call it. Like uh, you can call it, oh, uh, I am the best scout. Uh, that's in Russian. That's how we type in Russian, you know that. And in the settings over here on the little cog that's important, you gotta make infinitely until stopped repeat execution save and then there we go it's working you press play and it's being done automatically in the top right corner you can see the how many times it was played and basically what it will do it will press that button to scout for you and the good thing about this macro that it won't break anything it, it doesn't depend on anything and you can keep it running when you're not playing the game so basically if you are sleeping if you are at school at work in the gym doing your own stuff your account can scout all that area and uh, if you will upgrade your airplane uh, things uh, and get third plane it will be even faster so basically while you'll be resting the game will be exploring the map for you i think i don't have to tell you the opportunities that you will open with this first of all you will get a lot of those plunder options second you will get a lot of those resources from the uh, ruins or whatever they're called 
and third you will be able to see where what is located and that is really useful and there we go the scout is done it scouted the area and now the macro is on bam scout bam and it's sending the plane bam there we go so it's working perfectly all your planes will be busy 24 7 doing their stuff really good guys oh yeah so yes, other opportunities are using it in the new cities when you don't see the map. I don't know if you see the map when you get there or not, I, I haven't been there. But that will help you tremendously, specifically if you're early into the game. I'm making a jumper account right now and I just started yesterday. I played it for 2 hours and now I can collect all that gold, increase my VIP level and get better rewards, get all that free resources to upgrade my base and be more competitive. So that is really, really useful. And uh, let me know if you guys know any other life hacks in the comments because we can, you know, make more of that. We can make more videos, more guides on that. Now we have one problem. After you scouted all that area, you can see that over here in the mail, you have bunch of those scout reports with all those abandoned warehouses and all that stuff and radar towers and all that. And uh, take a look, it will take goddamn forever to open it all look at this oh my god that's a lot of resources though so i want to automate it claim and mark read doesn't work so you gotta open them manually what do we do we go back to the macro recorder we record a new macro we press abandoned thing we press scout we press on this thingy we press nice done we stop it we do the same stuff uh, we do go to the settings, we go infinitely, save, play, and let's see how it works. I think it will allow us to get most of that stuff automatically without actually doing anything. That is fantastic. So you can just sit there, relax, drink some tea. Drink some tea. I have water here. And gain free resources just like that. That is fantastic. The only issue with the second method, the, the one that's getting the resources for you, that occasionally over there you will get some of those surveys or other messages that will be in the way and that will kind of break it. So you gotta stop the macro, really, uh, you know, remove it, do all that is necessary so it won't appear in, anymore, and then play it again and it will keep going and gather all that stuff. I mean, that is making the most tedious parts of the game over here scouting and gathering all that crap automated almost like an idle game now right this is really really useful we got the radar here will it work the radar works as well yes that is really good that is really good so the radar doesn't break the sequence as well that is even better i thought that the radar will do it so guys don't forget to leave a like for the car trying and bright ideas and let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas that might be macroed or any other ideas to make the game more comfortable so you won't have to do manual tasks yourself uh, while you're going to the comments please share this video with your friends and guildies leave it a like uh, join the discord we are discussing a lot of mobile games over there and other stuff so you will love it obviously Check the pinned command, we have a lot of playlists over there for the Warpath guides, for other games. We have the Discord link, you would like to join that, I said it already, I think. We have my social media over there, like Instagram and all that stuff, you know. Uh, crazy Russian life, and I think that's about it for now, guys. Thank you for watching, I hope that this guide and the uh, little life hack will be useful for you. That's about it for now, Soviet out, до свидания.